בתום שנת הלימודים השנייה בגן, הוחלט להזמין צלם שיצלם תמונה קבוצתית של הילדים. כולנו יצאנו החוצה לגן הציבורי, מה שנקרא הופגרדן, זה היה הגן של אה, הארמון של הבישוף בווירצבורג. נעמדנו בשורה אחת, אחד עם, לפעמים כמה ילדים חיבקו אחד את השני שהיו חברים, ואז פתאום באה אליי גננת ואמרה, אתה לא, אתה ילד יהודי, וסובבה אותי עם הפנים לקיר, כך שרק יראו את חלקו האחורי שלי. כי אני ילד יהודי, ואסור לי לקלקל את התמונה. וירצבורג, גרמני. זה היה המקרה שהיה לפני 66 שנים. Here is also where I meet Ula, my father's new love. Ula is 15 years younger than my father, but it's no surprise, since father always loved women, and women loved him. סרט על הנשים שבחיי, כן? אני רק מרפרף עליהן, אני לא מספר. כל אחת היא אישיות לעצמה, וכל אחת היא בן אדם, והיו לה מעלות, והיו לה מקראות, אבל תראה, בסך הכל אלה היו זיווגים יפים. כולם התאימו יותר מאשר הזיווג עם אמא שלך. Shortly before my bar mitzvah, my parents divorced. I grew up with my mother and my brother. Both decided not to be part of this film. Since the divorce, my father was rarely alone. I didn't like some of my dad's girlfriends. But during my adolescence, when I tried to be a Don Juan like him, I was glad that he was one, and I could be proud of his success with women. Maybe I even envied him a little. Today, When my father is 72, I wonder about his new love. He, who escaped Nazi Germany, where part of his family was exterminated in the Holocaust, out of all the women in the world, he chose to fall in love with a German, Christian, Aryan woman. For me, it's, uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> For me, it's wonderful that we are together. Yeah, but you thought about this point that you are German and uh, Shraga is uh, Jewish. Well, <clears throat> I think um, we, we speak about this, but uh, there is no um, um, separation about the past. between us. I noticed my father was embarrassed, and my father is rarely embarrassed. From this place, Würzburg, Germany, my father fled with his parents when he was nine years old. His father, my grandfather, worked downtown, and every day after work, he used to meet with a group of intellectuals in Café Ludwig. One day, a childhood friend of his, who had become chief of police, ran breathlessly to the cafe and told my grandfather, Your time has come. The Gestapo is on the way to your house. Don't go back there. Get on the train and run. And so, they fled the Nazis at the last minute and arrived in Israel. Now, more than 60 years later, my father returns to the same cafe with his German girlfriend. <laughs> 